Anything to eat? Uh, that uh, I think uh, in the fridge. If you open up it up a bit, uh, there should be some uh, some, some toast. What are you doing? Well, I've been uh, I've been watching TV. You're watching TV? No, I I've been. Yeah, I'm gonna make us some pancakes. How about that, buddy? I'm gonna make us some big old delicious pancakes to celebrate our first big day in the job. Celebrate? Celebrate? I tell you, Sarge picked the Ce right guys for the mission. Celebrate? He's gonna be so impressed with us. You got a lot of milk. Like, the whole fridge is just loaded with milk. <sighs> Well, milk's good for your bones. What's that? Milk! It's good for your bones. And coffee is good for your brains. Guess that's why they go so good together. Shit. Well, how do you like that? Eh? I'm getting better, I think. Well, dig in, you monkey! Chris? Chris? Chris, I found you, little simmer. Brady, I made you some pancakes. See? Oh, see? That's a B for Brady. Right? You're so sweet, just like Daddy used to make them. Oh, well, it's a good thing Daddy's still in business. <laughs> Better get going. <laughs> She's a firecracker, that one, I tell you. Did you sleep last night? Was that? Was that Brandy, Brandy Summerstone? Summerstone? Yes, it was. Brandy Summerstone. Mm -hmm. Prom queen. Yep. Prettiest girl in Turtleback Valley. I'd say so. Bruce, how'd you bag a girl like that? Well, guess that makes me prom king. Five, ten, twelve, twenty-five. It was a pleasure meeting you again, Miss Brandy. Bye. Goddamn rich man now. What, sh she paid you? Oh yeah. Brandy Summerstone. Oh, yeah. Prettiest girl in Turtleback Valley, if not the world. Possibly. She paid you. Yes, she did. Hey, Comrade, you look a little confused here. Let me uh, explain something to you. Now, being a detective is like a hobby of mine. Kind of like you with the fishing. Now, hooking for money is my prime passion. It is why I am on this planet. But first, sir, what about Patricia? No, she dumped me last night. What? What? When? When? Roller skating. Roller skating? You went roller skating last night? At what point last night did you have time to go roller skating? Uh, we were on a case. Well, How did you go roller skating? Uh, I didn't know you were going roller okay. skating. Fucking A, I asked if you wanted to come, but you was like too busy watching TV. Anyway, she told me I was dumb and going nowhere in life, but then I met Brandy in the bathroom and, well, she told me I danced good. So... It's kind of like, better now? Well, Brewster, I'm sorry to hear about Patricia. Oh, it's okay. Patricia was more interested in fixing animals and smoking, so it's better not be broken off sooner than later. 
Hey, we should go visit Chrissy Lynn today. Bruce, I don't want to do that. Of course you do. But I can't. Yes, you can. Well, I can't. Well, of course you can. I can't, Brucer. Bullshit. Brucer? I guess, uh, I guess, well, I guess that it, what it boils down to, Brucer, is that, uh, you know, I, I, I just don't think Chrissy loves me anymore. Yes, she does. Oh, I'm not kidding around. Every time I go to see Chrissy, she always says, get lost, comer, and then she kicks me out of the house and tells me to move on. Comer. Let me get something through your fucking head. When Chrissy Lynn sees that her baby man, sweet old comer, is going to be a goddamn hero around here, there is no way, and I mean absolutely no way, that she won't take you back. Guaranteed. I don't know, Bruce. I don't believe it. Oh, comer, she's going to be all, Oh, comer, why did I ever leave you? If I knew you was going to be so darn famous someday, I would never have done dirty with that silly cowboy. Brucer! Brucer! <laughs> Don't talk about that silly cowboy! All right, all right. But I'm just saying, like, you're about as low as a man can get right now. Just saying. Like, what is all this? This is like a shrine dedicated to your failure. Plus, Papa Daddy Bruce, oh, he's gonna be right there with you. Come on. I'll hold your hand. 